Welcome to episode 100 of the Sober Barkeep. I'm Brian Anderson coming to you from Anderson's Guitar Bar here in lovely League City, Texas. 100 episodes. I'm really kind of surprised. Um, when I first started, I thought, man, if I could make it through 30 uh, without having to scramble, it's going to be a miracle. Um, this, this market is exploding. It's just going crazy. It seems like every day there's new products on there, whether it's spirits, beer, and I haven't even touched the, the wine market hardly at all. Um, there's just stuff out there, which is amazing and really exciting. And so I thought, what better way to, to do episode 100 than take a look at my favorite, the whiskeys. We've done, uh, we did a previous review uh, where we did the Liars American Malt, we did Sear Hill, Mashville, uh, and we did uh, Kentucky 74. Uh, all three fantastic whiskeys, uh, and each one different. And I think what we're going to find here is the market has continued to grow, and there's uh, new, new, really, really good non-alcoholic whiskeys out there. Uh, and these are all three different than the three that we had on the previous review episode. Um, so let's just kind of, and we've reviewed all these. Each one of these has an individual review on Silver Bar Keep, so you can take a look at it if you want. But just, again, do a compare and contrast. Uh, start off with the, the Ritual uh, Zero Proof. Um, this, uh, the Whiskey Alternative, this one here, uh, it's, it's truly meant to be drinking cocktails. Um, it's it's one that when you pour it, um, and I think I even mentioned this uh, in in the individual episode, it's got kind of a funky smell to it. But when you put it in a whiskey and coke, it tastes like a whiskey and coke. I mean, it's it's made to be put in whiskey cocktails. It says that on the bottle, and it blends incredibly well. And when you put it in the cocktails, you get that whiskey flavor, you get that whiskey taste out of it. Um, it's probably the mildest of these three, but it's got a nice burn to it, and it's got a nice flavor to it. Um, these these next two have just recently been put on the market. You've got you got Monday whiskey, and you've got a reformulated um, free spirit spirit of, uh, of bourbon. Um, and, and these two are in, in a classification. I think of themselves, it's a little bit different than the previous ones. The previous ones were all really meant to be drank. Although some of them advertising drink them neat. To me, they just don't do it. Uh, they're all fantastic in cocktails. Um, but but just recently with these two, now we finally have some that I think that you can drink either on the rocks or neat. Um, the, the ritual isn't, in my mind, that, but it's a fantastic product. Uh, and the price point on it is, is amazing, too. Uh, you can usually get this for about $25 bucks, um, at uh, Total Wine or online or just about anywhere. Um, and, and it's a good, solid, solid cocktail whiskey. Monday, this just came out. I was fortunate to be able to get a bottle of this uh, in their in their pre-release. And, oh man, I'm glad I did. This is a fantastic bourbon alternative. Um, it's a little bit sweet, but, man, it's a mouthful of flavor. And, and if you put it on a couple of ice cubes, don't put a whole lot because you don't want to water it down very much because that's one of the things about any of these non-alcoholics are – uh, watering them down, when you water down uh, with ice, and I say water down, when you, when you put on ice and it, and it adds a little water and does actually water down, it kind of tames some of that alcohol. Uh, since there's no alcohol in these, you don't need that taming as much, and sometimes it can actually diminish and, and dilute the flavor, which is what you really don't want. This, though, uh, amazing vanilla, uh, amazing caramels, um, to me, it's a little bit too sweet to drink neat, but I know a lot of people out there drinking it neat, commenting on it neat, and they like it neat. So it can be drank that way. It's just not, for me, it's not uh, it, it, It's not quite there for me for neat, but a couple of ice cubes with this, I did that and it's fantastic. And then you can put this in just about any whiskey cocktail and it's going to taste like, it, like it's supposed to if you had the, the alcoholic whiskey in it. It's got a nice burn in it. It's not as peppery, and, and, and some of the heat, and this is not a knock, it's just where the industry is, some of the heat uh, is more um, the capsaicin, and it's really, this one's got a nice heat, but it's not as peppery to me. Um, a fantastic, wonderful, wonderful product. This just came out as well. Uh, in fact, I just got this um, maybe two weeks ago. This is, uh, Free Spirits Company came out with a spirit of bourbon uh, probably a year, year ago. Um, and uh, I reviewed it, um, not one of my favorites. They reformulated and re-released this recently, and this is knockout amazing, absolutely incredible. It's not as sweet as this one, and I think because of that and because of it's got a very complex flavor to it, it's got a very complex burn. It's more, 
And I had somebody describe this to me um, on one of their comments to me that this tastes more like a ginger burn than it did a capsaicin burn. And I think they're right. Um, I have no idea what the formula is. I have no idea what's in it. There may not be a bit of ginger in it. But to kind of give you that, it's, it's got that more of a, a complex burn to it than it does just pepper. Um, and, and I don't know what they're doing, but this one here, I drink neat. I do drink it neat, which that's the way I always drink my whiskeys uh, when I drink. Um, this one, I, I have fallen absolutely in love with. And just like the Monday, this can be put in any whiskey cocktail, and you can get the expected result that you would have with um, with alcoholic whiskey in it. You, it's going to have that taste and that flavor to it. just about any of the whiskey cocktails that you could come up with. This is going to go incredible. Well. Both of these are just amazing. And, and, and this one works too. Um, but, but these two, I, I don't know. To me, these are the two industry leaders at this point as far as complexity, flavor, and the ability to be able to drink them almost native. Um, and, and just two amazing, outstanding products. Um, and, and I love them. Uh, and, and I love where the market's going with this stuff. Um, I've got, I've had six of them on here that I just think are outstanding products. The three previous ones I would recommend. Take a look at the video where I talk about them. If you're looking for a specific style, that's what's nice about this. Now it's almost like the alcoholic market where the styles are there. You, you, you got, it's not a matter of there's only a couple of good ones and then there's just these lower, they're all really good. They're all really good. A lot of people don't like drinking neat. So they don't want this, that's, that's not important to them. What they're looking for is, is something a little different. Um, uh, the Sear Hill is amazing in a mint julep. It, it's, and it probably is the best of any of the six in a mint julep, plain and simple. It just blends incredibly well that. So, and take a look at the others as well. They, they just, they, they got stuff going on. Um, I, I love it. I absolutely love playing around with this market. And thank you for hanging with me for 100 episodes. Uh, hopefully I can do 100 more. Uh, if you guys keep hanging with me, I'll do as many of them as I can come up with. So thanks thanks for hanging out, and um, go drink some whiskey, man. It's really good stuff. I'm a sober barkeep. Well, I'm drinking smart.